Hi, hi. Hello, hello. We are checking back in with my Melvor Idol account. You may notice that we actually have two new 99s. Uh, 99 Thieving, I just kind of underestimated uh, how much experience I would get when I left it on overnight. I had finally gotten to the point where the knight's success rate was high enough. It wasn't quite at 100, but it was like 99. But I felt confident <clears throat> with that and auto-eat that I could leave it on overnight and I probably wouldn't die. So I did that, and then I woke up this morning and it said I had gotten 99. <laughs> farming is even more embarrassing, since farming, you know, it gives you chunks of EXP when you click Harvest All. So I was like, I'll definitely get this one on video. I, there's no way that I, I'll screw this up. But I did. I just, <laughs> again, I underestimated how much uh, harvesting the magic trees would give me, and it pushed me right over 99. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to show you these two big accomplishments. We're slowly inching our way down maxing. Um, I kind of like the idea of doing them in order. I will admit, <clears throat> and uh, this is a big admission, I kind of screwed this up. I actually got 99 farming before 99 thieving, uh, although it was very, very close. Uh, and, and that ruined my progress of just getting them all in order. Um, so I could get fletching next. Right now, my best method for fletching is making normal longbows with my 1.171 million normal logs. Uh, this is extremely, extremely slow, only getting me 10 experience per bow. And the bows that I create unstrung sell only for 1 GP. I think even if I string them... Let's find out quick. I only want to buy one. Um, the, the, the bow string costs 24. This only produces another 10 experience, and then the strong bow sells for 5. <laughs> so it's a terrible, terrible money-making method. Um, but I do have all these logs that I really have nothing else to do with, unless we do another uh, bonfire live stream, the, the, the Christmas channel special. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure what I'll do here. Since I already have these, it feels like... A good opportunity and then this is like a very afkable one i can leave it over weekends or other times that i'm going to be away for a long period of time it's going to take a long long time to burn through all of these uh, my friend did a rough calculation of it being about 700 hours uh, i think i will get 99 before that i'm i'm actually positive because this is 11 million experience um, and i need far less than that Oh, actually, I mean just about exactly that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Maybe this won't actually be enough to get me to 99. Um, at some point, though, I'll be able to start making ma uh, magic bows and magic short bows and stuff like that. And maybe some arrows. There's other things I can do that I actually have the resources for. Like, I've got all these arrow tips that I can use. Um... Yeah, so that, that'll be kind of the next major grind. At the same time, I'm, I'm working a lot on Herblore. You saw that that's what I was doing at the start. Herblore is very interesting because the resources required vary so much. And, and again, I'm not a wiki reader. I'm not a, a wicker. W wicker? A wick, wiki? I don't know. I was trying to think of what they called the lighthouse keepers in the movie The Lighthouse. There was, those were called wikis because they look after the wick of the oil flame of the lighthouse. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> I, um, yeah, the resources you need for these are really varied, and I don't know what they're going to need in uh, the later ones. So it's kind of like I want to push this as much as possible because you stop getting new skill potions at level 74. The combat potions, so far, all of them besides this one have required combat drops, which makes sense. Um, so I'm not going to be able to do any of those if I want to keep myself, uh, pacifist. Uh, the regen potion is plausible. I'd have to go do some mining just to get rubies. It seems kind of unnecessary when things that I already have could show up in these. Um, so I'm just kind of burning through these. I, as I said, yeah, I want to get up to level 74 as quickly as possible, because then I'll have a better idea of what other resources I need. Um, and it seems like it could be anything. Like, these are mahogany logs, cooked swordfish, uh, silver bars, potato seeds. Like, 
Um, I, I really have no way of guessing what's going to happen after here, which I think is really cool. I really like Herblore as a skill. I'm, I'm really enjoying this grind. Um, and some of the potions seem like they're going to be useful. Like this one, eventually when I start doing the long grind to get all of the, the armor upgrades, to get them all the silver and gold versions, this will be super, super helpful. So we're going to have to prioritize making these Manta Lime Herbs. Which leads me to my next thing, which is that I'm still farming. Even though I've actually capped out farming, I'm still at it. Um, partially because I need so many herbs for uh, the Herb Lord grind. Partially because since I'm doing that, I might as well do the other ones. But I also want to get my mastery up for all these things. So I'm having a bit of a dilemma on the best way to do that. So, harvest all these. I could focus on doing these ones that take the least amount of time. They're all 40 minutes. And the benefit here is that I believe my chance of getting a farming mastery token happens whenever I harvest something. So that means that... Uh, the more frequently I can do harvests and farming runs, the more mastery tokens I can get, which is, of course, a much, much faster way to accumulate mastery than actually doing it the old-fashioned way. Uh, downsides there are, like, I, I don't want to do farming runs that often. It's kind of nice doing the longer ones and having to do it less frequently. Uh, I get more experience from doing the other ones. Of course, experience means literally nothing now, but it's nice to see this number go up. Um, plus, if I choose ones with just lower mastery. Mastery accumulates faster the lower it is. Uh, so what that means is that the mastery tokens that I end up getting would be covering more ground. They would be getting me masteries that would take longer otherwise. The further I raise the bottom level of mastery among all these seeds, if that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Uh, and then this starts raising a, a very major existential question about the future of this account, which is, do I see myself sometime in the far future actually being able to cap out all of these masteries? It seems pretty unlikely, because this is the result of farming all the way to 99, <clears throat> and some of them are still shockingly low. Of course, all the Herblor ones are low, because they just added them. Um, but even my best ones are like carrots, which I was doing non-stop for like the latter half of the grind, only at 66. The mastery tokens come very, very infrequently. Like I know the rate of getting them is better, like the rate per action is better, but it still seems very disproportionately low. Um, and if that's the case, then I really should focus on going for the lowest ones because those will accumulate quickest and thus... Even if I don't ever get 100% mastery for the skill, which, as I said, is kind of hard to imagine, uh, then at least I am making this number go up as much as possible with the time that I'm actually going to spend. And the benefit of that, of course, all comes down to this number, this 26 right here. I'm very, very proud of it. We are a quarter of the way through the game. It's all about getting this number to 100, right? Everything else just sums up into that, just uh, just aggregates into this one single number. So I meant to make this video when it was only 25, but my, my Herblor grind recently has pushed it up uh, up to 26. So that's even better. We're, we're all the way through 25. Um, once I start doing combat, this is going to boost itself up like so quickly, so fast, given that I haven't done any of these. So that's like a huge draining zero given that there's tons and tons of combat-only drops that I've never gotten. Um, so I am tempted to start on combat early, because it would help with Herblore a lot, since that I could start making these. And it would help with crafting a lot, since I could get leather without uh, just paying for it all the time. My bank value is getting a little sketchy, all the way down to 39 million. Um, our gigantic item hunt cut into that quite a lot, and just the fact that the skills that I've been doing lately, thieving, fletching, herb lore, don't make me like any money at all. Nowhere near as much as wood cutting, mining, smithing, etc. So, yeah, I don't know if I have enough money right now to do the crafting grind. So I either have to go back. 
I guess that wouldn't be too bad to go back to this because then I need I, I still need to do the uh the all the upgrades of equipment. Anyways, I just saw something exciting. We unlocked a new potion. We have now the fisherman's potion. Always catch the highest level of fish in the area. Whoa! Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll definitely make a bunch of these. Luckily, we have a ton of raw crab because we still need to friggin' burn one. Ah. Uh, um. So I don't necessarily want to go through all my crab, but we're we're gonna run out of uh, lemon tile herb before we run out of crab. So I'll just let that go. And then we'll probably be able to make it to 42 with this as well, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, it's just giving me a better idea of like what herbs I want to grow and what other resources I should be looking for in the meantime. I don't know why this tooltip's not going away. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. 26% 26, 26 done! We're a quarter of the way through this game. Um, of course, the, the rate at which you earn these percentage points, I think, kind of goes like... At least the way I'm playing. Wait, could you see that? That was kind of a silly thing to do. So this is the rate at which I'm expecting overall game completion to go up. That at first, it was like very, very steep. Just because you're getting so many levels, so many quick masteries, so many new items. And then, well, never really plateaus, but very slow accumulation for a while. Oh, oh, wait, no, this is what it, uh, 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 uh. Okay, if it's the rate, then yeah, it definitely actually plateaus, and then it goes down a bit. Um, so the rate would kind of level off for a while when I'm just doing skilling. And each skill takes a bit longer, so there's actually, like, all these little, like, bumps and waves. Like, when I start a new skill, it goes up a bit, and then it goes down a bit. And then when I finally do combat, that's going to be another, maybe even peak rate, since I'm going to be so well-equipped for combat by uh, doing all of my skilling first. I expect to kind of just run through a lot of the combat stuff, which is going to be quite exciting. Um, well, I don't know if that's true, because you need to level up your combat stats to even equip higher level equipment, for the most part. I'll have some really broken stuff, I'm sure, that I can wear, but... Anyways, and then eventually, it's the last 2% are going to take so long just squeezing each of it out. And of course, the game's still in development. I don't expect development to end anytime soon. So it's unlikely that I'll ever, <clears throat> ever, ever catch up, ever get this number to 100. But that's fine. That's fine. That's just the joy of Melvor Idol, no? Um, yeah, I don't know what else is new. Not really a whole lot. I've been buying more bank slots just because I have so many different things going on, like growing potatoes and strawberries, and I got all these herbs and stuff. So I, I figured it's too stressful now to figure out what to sell. I've been selling my Dragonite ore mostly. That's where like the vast majority of this still lives. Um, which is, I think, okay. I don't really need that much more Dragonite bars or Dragonite equipment. Um, the only like conceivable thing, I guess, is arrow tips. I'd want a lot more, but I kind of doubt it. You make dragon arrows presumably here at level 90, so it's like, how many do I really need to get from 90 to 99? If that's what I end up doing. <laughs> I could also just make longbows. Um, it'd be kind of cool if we could look at this one too, during the video. We're, we're just one level away. We should be able to, ooh, maybe we can't get there on this, I don't know. But yeah, I'm kind of hyped for these fisherman potions. Uh, there's probably going to be other situations where I need fish for, for the herbalar levels, so that'll make it a lot easier to be able to guarantee this will always catch whale, this will always catch whatever. Um, what else is new? The item log is still coming along nicely. This is very frustrating. I don't even know what these are. This is a whole other steel... What comes after steel? Mithril we already have. Gold you can't just make stuff out of. Iron we already have. I don't know what goes here. Oh, I guess it's the steel uh, armor we don't have anywhere. Yeah, I guess it's the steel armor. I don't know why I didn't make that. I guess I ran out of steel bars. 
but that that's an easy one. Um, here, I guess there's just some mithril equipment. It should be the mithril plate legs and the mithril plate body. And this should be um, the Adamite helmet, I guess. So we can fill this in like eventually. It's just gonna take a bit of a mining grind. Mine and grind. Um, so that's pretty good. This row, this is just the rest of the dragon equipment I haven't bothered making. So I think we can finish this row as well. There's just some shields missing. This row, there's uh, black armor that I've never gotten. I have no idea how to get this black stuff. It's only from uh, robbing the knight that I got these black weapons. But the knight never drops armor when you steal from it. So it's like, uh, these must just be combat drops. So this is the first spot where I'm pretty sure we won't be able to finish this row without getting into combat. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And then we have another absolutely complete row here, which is sweet. This is all just the upgraded armor, presumably down until some... This is what? Gold bronze boots. So this is all silver. This is all gold. Until somewhere around here, when it starts getting into... Necklaces and um, amulets and rings and stuff, I'm thinking all the, the crafting stuff, that's fine. This, of course, is the bows, we're getting there, that's fine. Arrow tips, easy peasy. This is like crafting materials, this is probably all the leather goods and the dragon hide goods. All the gloves we have, I have no idea what's going on here, it could be more crafting stuff. Oh, oh, um, no, no, I think this is probably more crafting stuff. Or maybe some combat drops. And then this is runes. These are scimitars. I have no idea why these are down here. But we can clean these up pretty easily, I think. The skill capes. Oh yeah, um, I got the, the thieving and the farming skill cape for sale. I haven't bought them yet. They don't seem very useful. Uh, other types of gloves. Easy. Now this is the section where it's like, I wish they would rearrange these, because it's kind of awkward. These are just items that they added after they added the item log. So like carrot seeds and carrots are not up with all the other seeds and vegetables, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. Um, and then, I guess though if they rearranged it, and at, at first I had a bunch of complete rows, and then they rearranged it such that I didn't have complete rows, I might be a little mad. So I guess I can understand why they haven't rearranged it. These are the mastery tokens. It's pretty trivial to get. I'm just gonna have to remember to, you know, do some fire making, I guess, and some cooking and stuff until I get one. I don't know what's going on here. I bet these are all combat drops. Then we have herb lore stuff. We have all the different potions, which go quite a ways down. Um, these are probably other just kind of crazy rare drops. I got this one. We have six of those, actually. It's pretty sweet. It lets you get double loot. Um, unfortunately, I'm not high enough level defense to wear it. You need level 10 defense to wear it. Where is it? Here. Um, but a 10% chance to obtain double loot. So once I start combat, I think I'll be able to get to 10 defense quite quickly. That would be pretty sweet. Double loot. Oh, baby. Hopefully it's not like Pokemon and this is non-stackable with any other uh, potential loot doublers. I guess this would have been nice for thieving to make it a little more profitable. Um, actually, we can sell all this stuff. This will be a fun activity. How much do you think we'll get from this? Right now we're at one point blah, 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 blah. I don't think it'll be that much. These are just one each. But there's no way I'm going to need any of these for anything because you can't upgrade them. Eight each. This will free up so much inventory. This was the main thing eating up my inventory. But it's like I had to keep going back to thieving from the night. So I knew that all of these slots were going to get filled up again right away. So it just didn't make sense to clear them out until I was all done. But now I'm all done. No more thieving. The most morally reprehensible skill. Or maybe that or woodcutting or fishing. I don't know. Actually, most of the stuff you do in this game, it's like you just don't give a shit about Earth. Or Melvor, as it stands. <laughs> All you want is the money. Nice, nice. That was a good chunk. The black stuff, I don't really get. Like, I don't... 
It's only level 10, so I'm not sure what makes it different than like the other level 10 things. This seems absurdly high, but I don't really know what any of these numbers mean yet. Um, I guess all this. Good, good, ooh, nice clean inventory. Oh, wonderful. Now I can keep all my potions, which is good. And now I can farm however I'd like, because, I don't know, I think I am leaning more towards, like, just maximize mastery. That is, oh, I forgot the, mm, oh my gosh. Okay, so I should actually compost all, and then we'll just do the lowest mastery one. We'll always do the lowest mastery one until that changes. And this will be the fastest mastery accumulation, I think. Because the mastery tokens are so infrequent for farming. Did I? Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, Herblore is at... Oh, we ran out! Okay, what else can we make? Ooh, this will take a while. Oh, we don't even have that many of these, too. Oh, man. Maybe my dream of unlocking two potions in one video is, uh, isn't meant to be. Um, yeah, this will exhaust itself, uh, this is like only, not that many, <laughs> uh, like, now it's 10, so 180 more experience, yeah, that's nowhere close, uh, and then we can make a ton of these ones, because this is just herbs and seeds, and we have like basically unlimited potato seeds. <laughs> Um, let's see how we do. This is really riveting content. Normally I only really try to record like more active type stuff for going over milestones, but uh, I'm just too tempted. I'm too tempted to see what this is. It's, it's always so exciting. Looking how it's going so far, this is like wood cutting, fire making, cooking, mining, fishing. So I'm assuming the next ones will have to do with like smithing or thieving. Maybe farming, I don't know, I'm not sure what it could be. This is only five experience each, yeesh. That's not, that's, this is gonna take a long time. Yeah, I think we gotta give up. So, I want to make more of these, I think. This is the most experience. Lemon tile herb. So we'll plant lemon tile next time. Uh, oops, let me get back to this. So yeah, the goals for the account right now. First, get 74 Herblore, so we know what's going on there. Then finish off Fletching. Uh, then I guess do rune crafting as part of like a overall mining grind to try to get a lot more silver and gold bars in order to finish off all the mining, the smithing items. Uh, and then hopefully I can, in the meantime, do a bunch of room crafting. Regular crafting, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave that for last and I'll end up doing it during combat, but uh, actually during my mining grind I should make a ton more money because I'll be doing gem gloves the whole time. So, I don't know, I don't know. Um, hmm. Kind of like... Spend... After I do crafting, what else do I need to spend money on? Nothing, right? So it's all just a crafting grind that's going to cost money. I think, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to do this without combat. We're going to remain combat here, except for these three attack levels that we got. <coughs> for no good reason. Alright, this is going to take forever, so uh, we'll just call the video here. Actually, wait, 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 wait. What are we what are we growing right now? Oxaline? Can we make anything out of that? I don't think so. Mantoline. Mantoline. Sourweed. Garum. Lemon tie. Yeah, so that's a higher level one. Hmm. Dang. Okay. Okay. So what are we growing here again? Lemon time? Lemon time. Lemon tile, sorry. Let's let's harvest these, and then that'll be it for this video. Yeah, I, I feel bad that I missed getting these two on video. I think getting 99s on video is pretty fun. But, uh, I don't know. We'll just try not to make the mistake that we've made, like, what, four times now? To make it again. Maybe even five times. I know I got a video of 99 woodcutting, 99 fire making, 
I think 99 fishing. And then the rest I think I missed. <laughs> uh, oh well. Compost all, plants all, lemon tine. Nice. Apparently they nerfed the number of herb seeds you get from the herb sacks. So I'm really glad I did a whole bunch of it, like right when it came out, before they nerfed that. Because I have tons and tons of herb seeds. That's it's actually so sweet. All right, that's all. We'll, we're still a long way from these higher masteries. Okay. All right. 